three minutes to speak. Okay, I'll go first. Um, Do you want to you want to speak here or from where you're at? I'll stand here. Um, my son is a junior, and he is attending RG Drive this year. I was informed from the get-go that I have to transport him to drag. Uh, I am a drug bus driver at a different school district, and I took it upon myself and I contacted Louisville City Schools, and they agreed to transport him from Louisville, but I'd have to get him there. Well, my mother has been taking him to Louisville for me because I'm not home, and the issue is, is she called me the first day and said, oh, there's a Marlington bus here dropping off Marlington students at Louisville to go to drag. Um, I, he has an IEP. I tried to talk to them about getting his IEP changed, you know, to have the transportation part in his IEP, and they said it's, they can't do it. Um, the problem is, is the students that are being transported from here to Louisville have IEPs as well. I don't know if they're necessarily the transport part, or I was also told by people here that those children are behavioral issues. Okay, well, Tyler's not a behavioral issue, but there's still a bus going from point A to point B, and those kids are actually getting off of the Marlington bus, getting on the Louisville bus with just the driver, and being transported to RG Drag. There's no difference. Those children are perfectly capable of being integrated with Louisville students to, or Minerva or wherever, they're coming from to ride that bus to the same school as my son. Why can't he get a ride from here to Louisville just like them? So that's what my issue is. I'm just trying to see if we can, he's not driving, you know, I don't know where to go. I'm a single parent. Okay. I was just wondering what rules or who changes they said it's a, uh, uh, yeah, a rule or a law or policy, yeah, policy. that uh, has been set in place. Who can and how would they go about changing a policy to get one or two or maybe even three extra kids on an empty bus that had five kids on it in the first place? And that's basically mm -hmm. what we wanted to bring before the board to see if we can get that changed. If it can get changed or if there's some other way to get to him, help even to get him here. I mean, anybody. If you don't mind, can I, I, I would say let me get your name and phone numbers and I'll work with you to figure that out. I'm, I'm assuming you've talked to Mrs. Sibbles, right? Um, the or, I, transportation the, gals? Yeah, they, they just said that they can't do anything because it's not part of the board. Okay. Well, let, let me, I'll be honest, I don't know all those answers, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. But let me get your phone number and I'll talk with you guys. I wanted to, to apologize to him. <laughs> oh, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> What's that? I said she I was in the office ask, the other day. Uh, I me. went in to ask that basically the same question. And when okay. we got out, my grandson, my grandson told her, Mom, if she goes to that board meeting, you better go with her. <laughs> well.